guys, Sponge Murphy here. How you all getting on today? Right, so I've been busy, kind of. It's been Christmas, uh, flu season, everything like that. So I've been getting a little bit stoned. I've got some good runners. Not good runners. Two night runners. No. Yes. Fuck. Two night runners. No. Two gutter runners. I'm pretty sure they're gutter runners. Uh, I got two of them finished and um, not painted, put together and modeled and everything. One of them is the same, one of them is converted. I use them from, I use the models from the Blood Ball box. So I'm moving along with the Clan Nation Warband, surely, but slowly. Um, I've started work on the Rat Ogre. I have a few ideas for the assassins, the two assassins. Uh, one of them, the Assassin Adept, the leader guy. So. I have not working, I think the next stage after this is going to be painting a few models because I have enough done now where I can kind of try and work out a paint scheme and everything like that. But enough chit chat out of me, enough jibber jabber, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Um, let's have a look at the desk. Yeah, gutter runners, I'm pretty fucking sure they're gutter runners. Okay, so the first thing I've been working on is the two gutter runners. Well, I'm meant to be making four, but I've got two done for now. Which are used from the Night Runner models from the Blood Bowl box, and these are really, really nice looking models. Um, I didn't change anything on the first one. This guy is normal. He has kind of the spiked fist, and the other arm he has like a dagger. He's running around with. Now I didn't want to change anything with him because I, he's really nice looking the way he is. Um, and I just stuck him on the graveyard team to base from the Garden of Moor set that I have. So that's kind of at a slant and it looks like he's kind of running along uh, ready to jump off it. So this guy is kind of pretty standard. He's not glued in yet. He's just blue hacked on just about. But I will be getting around to painting these pretty soon. Now the other guy I did change. Obviously he's on a bigger piece of wall. Uh, looks like he's jumping down off it almost. Now his, his right hand, his right arm has been replaced with... Um, I guess it is a fighting claw. It's pretty similar to it. It looks like one. So that's what I'm going to go with. Um, I, I literally only had one of these in all my bits box, so I was really lucky to find it, this uh, fighting claw, and I'm pretty sure that's a bit that I must have got off eBay, because I it's from the clan wrap box, and I've never bought the clan wrap box, I've only got the models from the old Island of Blood set. Now this arm, which I've forgotten, let me see, there we go, obviously he has this arm pointing upwards. If it'll focus back for me. Now I really like the pause he's in. The kind of leaping off the top of the wall. It took a while to figure out which way to put him. Because I've cut bits off this wall to try and make him fit. And it just wasn't working. So I cut the top off this and I put him on that. And I think that pause works really well. And um, hopefully he's not too high off the ground. Uh, this arm. I think I mentioned this before. This is a chain piece from I think one of the ogre pieces. And what I wanted to do was as if this guy is like running and the chain is like hooking to walls and is going along it. So there is a little drill piece there, little drill hole in his hand uh, and this fits in. So what I'm going to try and do to make it work is eventually is I'm going to cut this chain a little bit shorter. I'm going to put, I'm going to try and find some pieces that looks like it's going to be like a hook on it, like a grappling hook. So when he's throwing it, it looks like he's kind of trying to get onto another wall uh, to help him climb up and everything. So I'm going to have to find some more pieces to, to make this look like a grappling hook. I'll probably cut it maybe in the middle here. I don't really want it too long because it was too long. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I'll see. I'll see what pieces I can find first. Um, other than them two I've been working on is, um, I have two assassins to make. So I was thinking for the head assassin. If I can get this piece of focus for you, you might get to see it. There we go. I was thinking of putting them on a bigger base. Um, I, off the top of my head I think these are 28mm. 
Actually, let's have a look. The box is here. Does it say what size bases? Uh, doesn't, but I think might be 32 or something. Actually, I have a ruler. There we go. Very, very on the fly here. But I just, I just can't remember off the top of my head. I think these might be 32 millimeter bases. Yeah, it's either 30 or 32, but that size anyway. Uh, this is obviously a much bigger one. This is a 40 millimeter base. Um, I can't remember where I got it from. It's been around desk here for a while. So I said, what if I make the assassin uh, on a? What if I put him on a bigger base? Since why not? He's an assassin. Usually, a lot of Skaven models don't really have this size base. Maybe a Red Ogre. Um, but fuck it, he's an assassin. And I want them to really stick out a good bit. So this piece is from the Vermin Lord. His foot rests up on top of here. Um, with the little rats kind of along the bottom of it following them along. So what came was uh, two Dead Runner models off eBay. I was meant to have two more. But unfortunately uh, the guy didn't send them so I had to get a refund. So this is one of the Dead Runner models. Let's see if we can get it in focus. There we go. Really nice looking models. Gives you a chance to really mess around them because there's uh, the head isn't attached and one of the arms isn't attached. Um, get some of this kind of sprue bit off. Um, really nice looking model. They're big. They're a lot bigger than like a normal clan rat size. So what I was thinking. Let me lower the camera a bit. I'm gonna have the bigger base. I really like, yeah one of the things was I have this guy running up the kind of side of the wall uh, this guy is obviously falling off the blue tag but he's like leaping off the top of it originally I had him running up this piece and that would have meant I had two models kind of going uh, running up walls at an angle and um, so I really didn't want to do that as much because I really wanted this to be the assassin's base and I wanted him to look like this as if he's kind of leading him into battle. Um, maybe could I do that? No, that's not going to work. So he's going to have to go this way. Let me get some blue tech here on him. So we get a, a rough look. Stick some blue tech here. There we go. No, I think that's a pretty awesome looking pose. I think it's going to look really nice. Um, I think the main assassin, my leader assassin, my assassin adept, I think it's called. Uh, the options I had were fighting blade or fighting claws or weeping blades. So I think the main leader guy is going to have the weeping blades. Two weeping blades. It makes it a bit easier that one of them, uh, one of the weapons in his hands, is already a blade. So I'm thinking of if I cut the other one off from the other guy. Once I know what's going on in his hand, I can give him the same blade here. Uh, head wise, I don't know yet. I haven't really thought about this one too much because I'm still I was still focusing on the gutter runners. But I think this is a start for this guy. I think the pose is really nice. The fact that he has like little rats running around with him on the base as well is gonna be super cool. Um So that's what I'm gonna be working on next. That one assassin guy. I don't know about sorting out the other one yet. Well I suppose I'll have to uh, work in coherency. Now this thing I was kind of thinking what do I have left to do? What do I have? I have the rat over left as well as like a few other things. Um, so I was trying to think I had this rat over. This is from the screaming bell. He's like on the wood like this. He's pulling the bell down and everything. Uh, really nice piece. Again this is part of a bits box from eBay. I think actually this came from my cousin, a guy, a guy that my cousin traded with and I got this piece. Um, I had plans for this guy ages ago and I never did anything with it. Like he had an arm, he had like a bit of an arm here. So I cut that off and I put this kind of claw arm from the Hell Pit Abomination kit. Uh, that kind of fitted in kind of not too bad, not too snug into the socket there. And I kind of left him and I didn't really know what to do. He hasn't got a head. And he's at a weird angle. Every time you see this particular rat ogre, it's, it's always the same. 
uh, kind of position he's like this like punching something or pulling a chain along so I think so I was thinking what can I do for him with the graveyard team I don't want to put him on another wall it doesn't really work I tried a few things so I tried this kind of little tomb thing what if he's like on the roof of it uh, kind of pointing down into the fight um, I'm not sure what to do with this hand yet it's a fist so I did think about like giving him an open hand I have like this open hand from the crypt horror piece um, it might be a little bit too small but I'm not sure I might try and put like he's if he's holding something in his hand like a like a like a guy or something um, and I think it, kind of, it looks really cool I don't know how I'm gonna put on a base I had this kind of oval base that I made ages ago so I wanted to put him on it like that and that counts as the rat ogre base it's really too big for him but you know fuck it why not if it works it works um, didn't really kind of decorate around it put stuff coming out of the tomb here um, the only thing is I have to find a head for this guy he hasn't got a head I'm gonna have to look around the bits box I have some more scale stuff ordered that I got for Christmas so if there's any heads left over I might try and fit them in there somehow but uh, I think this is the idea for this guy so I think I'm gonna stick with that for now now what I'm going to be doing next is I'm always going to be working on a few little models there's, uh, there's always like a parts that have to be made um, you know continuously working around it but I think I'm wanting to start moving into the painting part pretty soon because I have uh, well this guy's not going to be getting painted soon he's still going to be made so he can stay there I have the two gutter runners or the two night runners uh, they're pretty much finished except for the chain on this guy so they can be moved along to get painted now I do have the black scaven I have three of them made which I did earlier the kind of the more heavily armored guys I've three of them and I have the what do they call this guy the clandestine uh, okay the camera was full there the memory card so I had to delete a few things but this is the this is the Eshin sorcerer. Um, I had the staff for him. I know he's not really focusing here, but he couldn't get painted. I have to. I stripped the paint off all these pieces, and I forgot to put in his little staff. So I'm wanting to. I'm gonna have to strip that as well. So probably the next update video I'll have one of the assassins done. I'd probably worked on. I'm not sure about the rat ogre yet because. Um, I'm gonna wait until I have all oh, those rat ogre guys ordered. Uh, you get three of them, they're like the newer ones where they have like big mad weapons. So I'm gonna see what heads are gonna be left over from that, and then I'll sort out this guy. So probably I will be painting soon, which is about fucking time, really. So um, that's it for the update. Uh, the warband is starting to come together. Um, let me think, will I glue these guys down and then paint them? I think maybe, I think that maybe that's the way to go. I'm just say fuck it, do all in one go. So the warband has one, two, three, four, five, six. Six guys all together. I have a bit more to go after. Um, I have two more night runners to add in. Four vermin kin, another black skaven, another assassin, and as well as the giant rats as well. But uh, the warband is starting to take shape, so make sure to keep an eye out. Keep an eye out on the blog as well. I've been putting up pictures of these that are you know pretty decent quality so you can get a better look at them if you want so if you guys like this video make sure to hit the like button comment and subscribe let me know what you guys think it's always important i'm really looking forward to doing this guy that pause is like super kind of epic but uh it works <laughs> but uh thanks for watching again and hopefully you guys enjoyed this and hopefully i'll be back soon with a painting update so uh thanks for watching and i will see you guys next video